to the college scene at AWC in the Matador Field on Saturday, where AWC took on the College of Southern Nevada Coyotes. In the beginning of the first half, Peter Yarrow with the pass to Eric Mejia, and he hits it with the left, aiming for the bottom right corner, just misses, unlucky there. We remain scoreless, nil-nil. A few minutes later, Yarrow with another leading pass, but this one to to Carol Murakara, who finds Mejia on the 18, and no, it's a save by the Coyotes goalie, Damian Moreno. Mejia just having trouble finding the net. Coyotes with a foul, and Lucas Piemont will take the shot that bounces off the right post. Matadors are controlling the game, but just need to execute. Still in the first half, nil-nil. Coyote Steven Chichetsu sends and sets up the ball. So Saul Chavez Ramirez, who can't get it. Matadors defense will hold again. And they'll look for Mejia again off the mark. Matadors will win a thriller in double overtime, 3-2. Nozumu Kaime scored the game-winning goal, his second two-goal game of the season. Following the men's overtime thriller, not much of a thriller in the women's game, more of a domination and then some. The Lady Matadors start the season 1-0 with a 17-1 win over Southern Nevada. They were led by Ashley Martinez, who scored five goals. The Matadors return to action hosting Yavapai on Thursday night. To the hardwood, the Lady Matadors volleyball team hosted the Chapman Automotive Group AWC Volleyball Tournament on Friday and Saturday. And the Lady Mats led off against Garden City on Friday night in a five-cent thriller. Yeah, they would win that one. Then on Saturday, it would be even tougher. The Matadors forcing themselves to dig out of a 2-0 hole. They stormed back and won in the final three sets to win 3-2-5. and five. They start the year 2-0. and oh. They'll be back in action next Friday and Saturday at the Dalton Overstreet Invitational in Yavapai getting a real test against New Mexico Military Institute who beat them in the Southwest District title game last year. 